what's up good morning to you all entertainment daily lovers we are back with some more just look <laughs> oh god this coral billy versus mr coral billy's case is just taking so many turns right now it is going down between jd and his cohorts hmm but uh, so so much is going on today we are going to be discussing the two women you see in your screen okay the <laughs> two shameless people that are the routine for mr jd and now they're in deep shit and one is silent the other one is begging all of that you will hear in this video welcome back entertainment daily lovers do not forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell so you don't miss when we're going live or when we upload a new video that being said let's dive right into this video right about now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay yes yeah, so the woman you see by your right is the one that has got the restraining order on her the one that was distributing Cora Obedi's little kids okay the one that made a video speaking rudely to them that landed her in court mm -hmm. that's the one you see wearing glasses then the one you see smiling with a giant blue headscarf on her head is the one that was collecting evidence and building case file for JD, rooting for him, giving him her money. There is nothing this woman didn't do, dragging Cora from left to right. And hey, that one, Marian. Yes, yeah, so let's get right into this gist right about now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it is going down, it is going down. So, like you all know, these people they've been in actually two different WhatsApp groups. I, I think it's even more than two different WhatsApp groups, but let's just leave it at two, okay? So <laughs> so we're not talking too much, okay? So they've been plotting and planning Maryam building CPS case against Cora, trying to build a giant file which i'm going to probably put on the screen if i have it so you see how giant that file is collecting evidence for two years plus for uh jd so jd can take to court and win the cps case against cora obedi there's no plot in this woman miriam did not plot she even came out then boasting that she's the one that jd speaks to in the morning when immediately he wakes up she's the last person he speaks to at night before he goes to bed that's how close they are she knows the inner cackles everything about jd and his life and the relationship he had with cora obedi and everything this woman would be bragging then like every day she wanted everybody to know that among all the women the other one in the lady l lady f uh, crystal kim and the rest of them that she was the closest to jd and she is like a mother remember she said her youngest child is older than jd so this is a grandma here okay not even a joke this is a grandma mm-hmm yes so fast forward jd came out and called that out in 2024 okay on his facebook live he was live that day and he called her a scammer and nobody should trust any single thing that comes out of this man's mouth that she is a scammer and she's a liar there's no name in the book that jd did not call this woman that she pretended that she was a lawyer she was a legal practitioner but she's no legal practitioner she's a fake so many things that this man had to say telling this woman to stay away from him he even blocked her uh, he doesn't want to have anything to do with this woman that prompted this woman to come out and did those videos where she was crying and laying curses and swearing and saying whatnot that she's going to do this she's going to do that how dare him she spent her time well in terms of spending time yes she's right because tell me Cora already goes live so many times in a day and Cora Obedi might be live if her live stream is too short it will be an hour if not all Cora's live stream will be over an hour maybe two hours three hours whatever or an hour plus so for you to sit down for two and a half years collecting evidence looking for something that you're going to maliciously use to nail the ex-wife of your friend that is a full-time job because if you're a, if you are a person that you have a job, you have a family to run, you have businesses, you have other things that you're doing with your life. When do you have that time to sit down, bench, watching somebody's content, collecting evidence? And you know that when you're collecting evidence, you just cannot rush through 
watching you have to listen to everything the person is saying watch what the person is doing so you can see because there are things that other people will miss but you don't you wouldn't have you can't you can't miss those right so this woman put in so much work and she was also actually giving her money to jd but jd <laughs> once jd was done using this woman jd tossed this woman out but this woman the part that will shock you most while we're doing this video is the fact that in this same 2024 after this woman came out laid courses on jd it shall never be well with him after everything she did yada 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 this woman has started rooting for jd again she has been talking, dragging Cora, dragging Nancy, dragging the obedies, dragging their father, dragging anybody at all that is anyhow connected directly or indirectly connected to the obedies. This woman is dragging. Okay, still fighting for that same person that has blocked her, told that never to come close to him, that he doesn't want to have anything to do with this woman jd didn't have water in his mouth when he was saying that guess what happened jd posted he's been writing a whole lot on his um uh facebook so on one of his posts where he posted about he was married to a narcissist a narcissist and whatnot that uh he's uh creating awareness and trying to save lives and whatnot that he's not a victim yada 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 if you go to his facebook you will see that post underneath now, one thing you need to know is this this set of women that do all these things, these JD's followers, including J, JD's followers, including JD himself, they have several accounts. So I believe this was one of her accounts. So somebody came out, came under his comment. There are several comments, okay? Several comments. You know, whenever JD posts, people people will always go there to comment and drop their two cents concerning what is going on. So Somebody came there and posted and said, JD, remember, JD had earlier, before this particular post where the person dropped the comment, JD had earlier posted uh, when the talk came out that Cora had filed again after she missed the first court case with uh, Crystal Hackett, which is the person you see wearing glasses, the Caucasian woman wearing glasses here. After that uh, stuff came out, a few days later, JD came out and was asking everyone on social media, if you've ever sent him, sent him any evidence about anything, you should please send it back again to him, right? That he needs it right now. So somebody came in under this, his post now, I would say it's oh, almost a week now since he made that post. And the person is telling him, can you unblock Miriam Awolowo? That she said she has what, how many thousand pages of evidence is it four thousand how many of evidence that she's going to give to him look that person coming underneath there to come in is no other person okay forget the fact that the name doesn't say madam mia that is madam mia okay shamelessly pleading for jd to unblock him to unblock her as a <laughs> master and servant <laughs> shame river awoyaya Madam MIA, aka Miriam Awoyaya. <laughs> hey, Madam Isha Uru, Madam Arometa, I don't feel shout. Okay, so JD did not respond to so many other comments that were there, but immediately he saw this particular comment where somebody would. As in this, uh, let me stop saying somebody that was Miriam, even though she would pretend that it's not her, that was her. Immediately he saw that comment, he came out and he responded to that comment, and this is what he said. He said, She knows my email. So, in other words, if she's got any evidence that she wants to send for send to me, and she thinks the evidence is going to be helpful in this court case, because trust me, JD has been mentioned in this court case too. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he knows that something is coming sooner than later. So he's trying to prepare himself for when it is time, right? So he said she knows his email. So in other words, I am not unblocking that fake ass woman. I am not unblocking that liar. I am not unblocking that scammer. <laughs> I don't want to be friends of hers. I don't want to be close to her. I don't even want to speak to her. I don't want to see her. I don't want to have anything to do with that woman. But still this woman is out there screaming how jd should go and create gofundme page how gofundme will help him fight this battle how this will help him do this how this will help him do that and i'm thinking didn't jd open his mouth and say stay away from me and now you have a ten thousand or be twenty thousand fifty thousand page evidence 
remember these are evidence that this ma this woman has built every time she's collected collected all the collected she did she still did not achieve anything because if all those collectors she was collecting was working they would have won the cps case and cora Billy would have lost her children to her ex-husband jd right so i think because jd lost and jd was like okay so after building all of this telling me you're a legal practitioner i was all online bragging you know i can do this if i want i can do this if i want but they went to court and i believe the judges and people responsible looked at the whole thing and like this is just a hot mess take this away from here like there's there's nothing here okay and he did not get full cost study so they still have their 50 50 cost study of the children right so i don't even understand how this woman comes up and she will say anything to and when you listen to the, her last video where she in she titled that video that she was actually addressing nancy okay but you could see how this woman was stressing it that every people should stop asking her why she's uh, rooting for JD, why she's rooting for JD, that she's a, she's JD's follower, okay? She, not that she's she's supporting JD because she thinks anything, but she's a JD's follower. Y'all, I'll see y'all on the next one.